It's an hour packed with everything you've been buzzing about. That's right, it's the Chew on Trend. Michael's living it up with actress Jennifer Esposito. I'm so excited. Carla's partying in the kitchen with director Lee Daniels. And we're headed back into the Chew Lab to test out a tasty treat. We're getting trendy as heck right now on the Chew. Welcome to the Jew! Thank you. Hey, uh, you guys, do you want to know what dishes are blowing up on social media these days? Yes! Do you want to know some dynamite dishes you should be eating right now? Yes! All right, then listen up. <laughs> <laughs> we have an hour of the most popular foods that are just as tasty as they are trendy. That's right, it's the Jew on Trend. Hey! Yeah. I, think, I think it would be so funny if one of... No! No! <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go home. How are you guys doing today? Good. Oh, good. All right, so I got to tell you about what happened to me last night. Okay. I went out to dinner with a couple of friends of mine, Andrew and Jan, um, yeah. and I was super, super close with them about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we're still friends, but we are, you know, life took us in different right. directions, in different cities. Well, Jan said she found a wine bottle in her apartment, okay, this is in Arizona, that had wishes in it that we made 20 years ago. <gasps> I had forgotten. I know, I had forgotten all about this wine bottle. It was hopes and dreams and predictions for the future. Oh. And oh. I told her, I don't want to open it, I'm scared. <laughs> I said, no, I don't want to open it. What would you do? Can't you, can you understand? I want to open it. No, I want to open it. I mean, okay, so. The audience, there are women in the audience like this, open it. <laughs> but I'm sure, I mean, <laughs> I would guess, and I could be wrong, unless you were just a huge dreamer as a, I mean, 20 years ago is not like 40 years ago. Right, I was You know, so you were yeah. 28. So, but I would guess you exceeded most of your little dreams in the bottle. I don't know, I don't know. There's a part of me that's worried, like, what if I didn't live up to my expectations of myself at 28? You know, because to be honest with you, I think back then, I wanted to have kids. I probably saw myself yeah. as having kids. And you then, have us, you have Mary. Yeah. You have. <laughs> I know. That's true. I do have kids. We didn't yeah. turn out. We didn't turn out the way you wanted yeah. us to do. Right. Huge disappointment. I got, I got a black kid and a bald kid. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, I saw that coming 20 years. Dad, ago. my hair sucks. <laughs> well, I, my question for you is: Do you guys think that you're you're right there, kiddo? Okay. As the my kids, child, kid, I should yeah. give you Heimlich or something. Yeah. Okay. Black kid. <laughs> black kid. Uh, so my question to you is: Do you think that you are the person you said you were going to be 20 years ago? Oh. I, you know, I, for me, I, listen, we opened Lola tw almost 21 years ago now. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll bet you if I looked back, I, you know, I would have said, you know, we're going to have a restaurant, maybe two restaurants. So I feel like I'm in the same lane. I never would have thought I would be on television. Right. I mean, I started doing Food Network Nobody in 1998. Nobody would have thought about oh, oh, my, no one. <laughs> a lot of people still don't think I should be. <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> the first time I was on television, they said, we're gonna have to change that laugh of yours. I'm like, yeah, that's gonna work out good. <laughs> How about you, Carla? Did you um, think you would be here where you are now? So I was 33. I had done culinary school like three years prior. I don't. I think I was in a state of discovery. So I. So this is this, post accountant. This is post accountant. Post, -accountant, okay. post okay. everything that you know. This okay. is like getting into my new career. So I. I think I was still in a in a state of discovery. I would have never thought I would have been here. I would crack that bottle open. It was just like, okay, just be on the line somewhere. All right. <laughs> I'll let you guys know if I decide to open it. With you got to open it, dude. Right. I think that would be amazing. It'll Come be on. amazing. Here's a fitness trend that I can really get behind. Kate Hudson, who has been on the show, who is awesome, by the way, recently posted on Instagram showing her doing a little training routine by lifting wine bottles. Reminding her followers that sometimes you gotta work for it. Look at that core. Look at that core. I mean, do you guys ever work out with wine bottles? Sometimes opening them can be a real challenge. Yeah. No, and pouring. Oh my god, that's good. Yeah. You can you tighten like up it? the. I know that. The, tighten up the, the triceps yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Good. Oh, ow. Oh. Good workout. It's you make, really? Oh my god. You should do it with mags. It would be even, you know. Yes, that would be even better. Even try to hold them. Let's talk about Kate Hudson for a oh. second. Okay, so when she was on the show. I was so mesmerized by her. Do you guys remember how beautiful she was? Like, I literally was staring at her like, are you from heaven? I, 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 I was just 
I was like, you're so pretty. Like, she literally had not a pore, not a wrinkle, not a freckle, not a nothing on her face. I was like, you don't even look like you're human. I kept like, I, <laughs> when she ate, she had a little food on her face. I was like, let me take that off of you, because it's, bar it's marring your perfect. I, was, was there anybody that you were ever that mesmerized by? Well, I, I, I don't know, but what I, real quick, just back, there are some people that come on the show that you get very crushy on and I flirtatious. Know, I She's one of them. It's always very funny to me. It, it, like, you get nervous like yeah. a, like a eighth grader. I know, I like it. Hi, Kate Hudson. I like a pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is always a telltale sign, just to let you all know. Clinton will always use their first and last name. Right, you know, yeah, yeah, that's true. Hi, Kate Hudson. <laughs> yeah, right, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Olivia Newton-John. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, you go. Uh, ONJ. Yeah. ONJ, yeah. yeah. Leighton Meester was another one that I was yes. just like, you're so pretty. She thought I was a creeper. Like, <laughs> She literally, I wasn't even doing that segment. Carla was doing that segment. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, for me, you know who that was for who me? Was that for you? Um, oh my God. Missy Copeland. Oh, yeah. Missy Copeland. Because I love her so much. Yeah. And I, and I was doing this interview and I couldn't get my question together. And I was like, oh my God, la, 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 la. I can't even ask you a question. <laughs> You're so pretty. Yeah. How about you, Michael? Anybody you've been mesmerized by? <laughs> it's going to sound weird when I say it, but because I'm such a sports fan, Terrell Owens. <laughs> Hey, look at that. Uh, there he is. Well, you can nice watch teeth, him dance. nice skin. Well, I mean, I just, I, I, you know, as a kid that grew up loving sports in a sports loving family, yeah. when some of these guys from the NFL come on that are just legends, yeah. it blows me away. I mean, even though we become great friends now, Michael Strahan still, like, it, I mean, he's still just one of those great, he, he's everything you expected him to yeah, be yeah. as a person. Yes. As a, you know, yeah. when you watch him as an athlete. Agreed. All right, before we run out of time, we have to taste Oh, I was hoping I could talk right through this one. In food, pumpkin spice pizza from Villa Italian Kitchen. People went crazy for this. It sold out, but we got a pumpkin spice pizza. Boy, aren't we lucky. All right. I'm gonna say, I'm excited about this. Uh, I know that you two, well, based on the I, look on your faces, you're not. Well, you know what, I, I have had pumpkin on pizza before, but not with pumpkin spice, like when it was, when it was like sage, like those kind of flavors. I'm curious, I love pizza. I do love pumpkin. People are confused, they think I don't like pumpkin. I love pumpkin. <laughs> yep. I love pumpkin spice and I know everybody's gonna go quit complaining about. I love it in bread. I love it in pumpkin pie. I love it. it I don't like sweet. I, it's sweet. It's so sweet. <laughs> it's sweet. I feel like you wanted to do a pumpkin. You were like, okay, do I want to make a pumpkin pie or do I want to have pizza? Oh, I want to just eat both my pizzas yeah, it's, it's it's, together. It yeah. tastes like yeah. a like. That's true. It's a, it's your pizza and your dessert in one mm -hmm. bite. And I guess I'll tell you what, I like it. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, you like that. You do like it. I, you know what I would like on the pizza? A little bit of fresh tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, and basil. I think that would be a really unique idea. Revolutionary. All right. So we have got a lot to chew on today. Michael is cooking with actress Jennifer Esposito. We love her. Carla is in the kitchen with the incredible producer and director of Empire and Star, Lee Daniels. And I'm going to be experimenting in the Chew Lab with a recipe that I really believe is too good to be true. So we'll see about that. Don't miss it. Yeah! Tomorrow, we're all new, and we're revealing top secret tips so you can host like the pros. The hilarious Cheryl Hines is stopping by to hang. Plus, Michael's getting you ready for football season with recipes you won't want to miss. The party's right here, and you're invited tomorrow on The Chew. ABC's The Chew, brought to you by Colgate Total. Be totally ready for life. Right now. Our first guest today has starred as a detective, a lieutenant, and a special agent among so many other fantastic roles. And now she's adding cookbook author to her list of credits. Please welcome back Jennifer Esposito. <laughs> Before we start, I, I, these cookies are like a weakness for me, Liz, and Liz's yoga instructor, by I the way. Love it. And when I, when the first time you were on, we had these cookies and discovered your bakery, and then it was so close to my house that I would walk there thinking I've walked very far so I could eat the, eat cookies. the cookies. And then I had to start buying double cookies because I eat them before I got home, <laughs> and then Liz would go, "What happened to I the would cookies?" I literally find him like at the counter. 
Imagine. Oh, I know. I just, I I just tried to send them to you. I would just sneak in. Oh, they're warm. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing a tweet about these cookies, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yes. I'm, I'm a cookie tweet. There. Oh, uh, look at <laughs> that. You sent them to the oh, studio. Oh, for, yeah, they're unbelievable. They're amazing. They're amazing. Yummy. I, I'll take those. I love that. <laughs> I love you didn't even have one. I know. I'm good. Oh, because Clinton took it from me. This, this See what he did? Ridiculous. All right. Now, I mean, we're I mean, obviously, I love your bakery oh, over you. in the East Village. Mm. Yes. Um, it's such a time. There it is right there. Yay! Bakery. It's so, it's just, I mean, it's like you are. You walk in, it's warm. You immediately feel welcome, you know. And for me, I was someone who really didn't understand gluten-free yeah. completely. And mm -hmm. you actually helped me understand it a lot. Oh, good. Um, but there's so much flavor in this. And now it's like gluten-free has become almost... I want to say trendy? No, I, I, I honestly, to me, I don't even say gluten free anymore. That's, not, that's why it's not on the cover of the book. It's just, uh, for me, it, it's just about good food. That's right. it. That's it. It's about good food and eating better. <laughs> you gotta lick the fingers, everything. I don't know. I just mine. That's it. Seriously, it's about good food. It's about, um, for me, it has to be gluten free because of my celiac disease, but that wasn't even helping me at mm -mm. a certain point. It needed to be, you know, dairy free and all this free. But when you hear that, you think, oh, it's not tasty. Right. Oh, it's tasty. And that doesn't have to be. Right. So, yeah. And is that what really, I mean, what? This is Jennifer Wayne's Kitchen. Look at that. It's yeah. so um, So, what was, was the inspiration of the book? Just, I mean, Easy, allergen-free, anti-inflammatory, which I think is the anti-inflammatory thing is huge. Like, exactly. Carla's gonna finish the whole thing. Do plate. it. That's what I mean. <laughs> One, I agree. No, anti-inflammatory um, for me and for so many. Inflammation in the body causes disease. That's not just for me. It's for everyone. Right. Autoimmune. Uh, autoimmune um, is is drastically improved. Diseases are uh, they're they're improved the way you feel if you cut out these things that make you inflamed, right. which is a lot of things, well, unfortunately. I, yeah. But you can still eat. That's yeah. what the book well, is. Well, like about. for me, I, I think for being a chef for so long, I got a lot of arthritis. <laughs> and when I'm very conscious about what I'm eating and eating anti-inflammatory things, the arthritis really you subsides. See? You see, that's you know, what I'm it saying. Really, it's crazy to me. A lot of health issues they really show dramatic improvement when you take some of these things out. But I don't want to eat salad all my life, so no. I want to eat. And that's why I do Life is about cooking. Yes. yes. So we're going to make a little bit of uh, bread. Yes. With, it's what, butternut squash and pumpkin? Butternut squash and banana. And I'm banana. Sorry, banana. Uh, yeah. It's, I got pumpkin in my brain all of a sudden. It's this time of year. You right. know, it's squash season. It's um, so I did a, a my all-purpose flour, which is in the book. It's a, a mixture of like sorghum and quinoa and stuff like that, and then some buckwheat, and then we're gonna add some baking powder. We got some cloves. Oh, nice. Yes. We got some Himalayan sea salt, which I I like to use rather than regular salt. We got baking soda. We got pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon. Pumpkin pie spice where it's supposed to be in a nice yes. bread, not in our coffee. Okay. And ginger. <laughs> our, and ginger. And you it. It, it creates this nice warm feel of fall. It smells. The aromas are fantastic. Yes, you get a nice fresh uh, ripe banana. You're gonna mush it in there. Then you're gonna roast some squash. You're gonna throw it in there as well. This goes in here. Yep. Okay. Everybody All the in wet the ingredients. Pool. Then we use some plain. Um, that's some uh, coconut. That's a uh, uh, coconut, coconut oil, and then plain coconut yogurt. And every which they have, oh. yes. So there's no dairy. It's completely vegan. Oh, oh it's, it's coconut delicious. Yogurt. No, it's coconut it's yogurt. Coconut yogurt. Oh, it's delicious. It's well, really I'll good. Have some right now. Yeah. Oh. It's really good. It is delicious. really good. It's yes. very delicious. They even make a, um, a, a cashew yogurt now and an almond. But I found the coconut is really it's it's delicious. Hmm. I'm gonna look that. Um, coconut oil that's melted, and then maple. pure maple syrup is my go-to as I, we really cut down on the sugar, but if you're going to have anything, it's a natural antioxidant mm. uh, maple syrup, so I, I love it, and the flavor it gives it's me. It's a natural is, sweetener. I, I love it. I, I love maple syrup. Yeah, and then we're, gonna, we're going to do a little, um, a little flour, and then we put some wet coconut milk. Got it. So we're gonna... A little dry, a little wet. Yep, a little dry, a little wet. And then we, we just let this come together as a batter. Yep. And then and, and that then goes going... that goes in loaf pan. our little loaf pan. You're gonna put the pecans in, just mix them in at the end. Okay. But And then we're gonna put it in the loaf pan. You bake it off and you have deliciousness. Yeah. Well, we're gonna bake Can't this wait. off, we're gonna have deliciousness. You guys need to stick around. It's fantastic. Yay! <laughs> So let me ask you, am I...
you on trend. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. We are here with the lovely Jennifer Esposito. Woo! We're making a butternut squash bread from her new book, Jennifer's Way Kitchen. Which is fabulous. It is fabulous. Fabulous. So, this one in the oven, we baked it. It looks fantastic. How do we finish it? Uh, honestly, you can eat it. It's it's not sweet, sweet, and it's not savory. So I like to drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on top, Ooh, I'm and then you could you could do whatever you'd like with it. You can toast it. You can Ooh. put some uh, vegan butter or whatever you'd like on it. But yeah, just little maple syrup right over top. Cut it up. Oh, I'm so. And like it, it feels like fall. Yeah. Right. It yeah. smells yeah. like it smells like fall. It smells like fall. And even you know you want to make it into more of a dessert. Yeah. Get some vegan ice cream, plop mm. it on top. Awesome. And even like yeah. some, some of that delicious coconut ice cream. Oh, yeah. It has the delicious. coconut in it. What? I, I, I love that. You yeah. know what? I'm right. always I'm, I'm always amazed. Oh. Um, you want that? Oh, yeah. I'm always amazed with your pastries, how they're always so moist. They're yeah. like the texture of them is always so spectacular. I, I, mm. You know, I, I use uh, between zucchini, mm. between banana. Yeah. I'll use all of that stuff to keep it moist, and 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 you're not using, you know, butter and all oh, that. Oh, Rob, it is delicious. Oh, it's yummy. Moist. <laughs> It's like a real richness to it. Yeah, I, I love it. Good, I'm glad you like it. Jennifer, I heard that you are just as obsessed with one movie that I'm obsessed with, Grease. Grease. Yeah. I, we, we can do it right here. I know every word. And me too. Anytime you want to come over my house, and, well, let's, let's do Grease. But I that heard that you. That would be fantastic, by the I'm way. I'm so in. Yeah. yeah. When I'll Olivia Newton John came here, I was starstruck beyond belief. I heard that you had a similar experience with. Uh, with John Travolta, yes. Danny Zuko. <laughs> Danny Zuko. I, I got a call from my manager, said, yeah, they uh, offered you to do this film. It's only a few scenes, but it's played John Travolta's wife. I was like, I'm sorry, who? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, Danny Zuko was yep. my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if he knows, but he was my boyfriend. So then he's standing there, and I'm like, this is insane. And when I get nervous, I don't speak, which is not <laughs> good. It's a great so, way to meet people. Really? <laughs> waiting to go and do our scene and I'm just like what do I say <laughs> what do I say and and he's like so, so lovely he was so lovely and nice and he, I played his wife we had kissed him once and oh. I, I, I was like oh my god and and I swear for the first couple hours I was like yes <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Like, I went and talked. It, it, it turned so, out it was honestly a dream. But when you're kissing him, are you like, oh, all the Danny Zuko! Danny Zuko! You went right back. I got chills! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy! I was like, oh, it was so fun. But, but we know that you love to cook, but I tell you, another thing that I'm so impressed and badass about you is that you are a tool chick! Oh, yes. yeah. Uh, love it. Yes. Cover? Love it. I'm renovating right now, and, um, yeah, that's Fantastic. me. Fantastic. Number... Okay, that, Shelf. you're gonna love this. That wood, I found this wood on Etsy. It, mm. I had it shipped down from like Alabama, and it was a big stump of raw pecan wood that we cut and sanded, and it's so mm. beautiful. What? I love that stuff. I love that stuff. But renovation is hell. Yeah, it is hell. <laughs> we love you, though. It is hell. We Thank love you. you. And you guys, and, you're, oh, this, and this is so the good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> You guys, the good news is, is she loves the audience too. Everyone is going home with a copy of Jennifer's, yeah. Jennifer's Way Kitchen. It is in stores now. You have to get it. It's brilliant. It really is brilliant. Thank Jennifer, you. thanks so much for joining us. We love it when you're here. I love you too. Thank you so much. Chew Lab, when we come back, guys. Patrick woke up with a 